no quarter. Two tooth fairies were sitting on a branch. The small one was reading her report card. Dog tooth, F. Fake vampire teeth, F. Cracked tooth with filling, F. All Fs again, she wailed. Her friend patted her on the back. Don't worry, she said to the little tooth fairy. You'll find a good tooth soon. I better, if I don't find a perfect tooth tonight, Queen Dentina will take away my wings. I'll be grounded, and I won't be able to go to the decay prevention ball. So the little tooth fairy flew off to look for a perfect tooth. Soon she came to a schoolyard where some kids were playing dodgeball. Think fast, Walter! A girl threw the ball at a little boy in the middle. Walter jumped out of the way. Missed, he shouted. But as he landed, he tripped and fell over a rock. Oh dear, gasped the tooth fairy. I hope he didn't hurt himself. Look, Walter picked himself up, grinning. My tooth fell out. He held it up and put it in his pocket. This goes under my pillow tonight. At last, whispered the tooth fairy. This is my lucky day. I'll follow him home after school. And that's just what she did. She waited outside of his house until dark. She watched the lights go out one by one. Soon there was nothing but a soft glow coming from the window. It, all she found was a letter. It said, Dear Tooth Fairy, Today my tooth fell out. I had put it in my pocket, but my pocket had a hole in it, so I lost the tooth. I hope you can leave me a quarter anyway. My mother says to tell you I have been a good boy. Yours truly, Walter. No tooth! The fairy cried, oh no. She flew up to Walter's chin. Maybe he has another one that's ready to go. She grabbed one of Walter's teeth and gave a big yank. Hey, yelled Walter. He sat up in bed. Wow, it's the tooth fairy. Did you get my letter? She nodded. But I can't give you a quarter, Walter. Our first rule is no tooth, no quarter and Queen Dentina is very strict. Then the little fairy started to cry. This was my last chance to find a perfect tooth. Now Queen Dentina will take away my wings. But that's not fair, Walter said. It isn't your fault I lost my tooth. Why don't you explain it to her? <laughs> you don't know Queen Dentina, said the tooth fairy. I'm really scared of her. Well, I'm not, said Walter. I'll tell her. All right, said the tooth fairy. I'll try anything. And she waved her wand at Walter. Whoosh! He was as small as she was. Yo! he cried. Come on, said the tooth fairy. She grabbed Walter's hand and they flew right out the open window. They zipped down to a hole at the bottom of a tree. They flew through a long winding tunnel underground. At last they came out in Tooth Fairy Land. It's an underground world, Walter gasped. Isn't it beautiful? asked the Tooth Fairy. We grow all of our own food here and we make all of our own clothes. The only thing we need from you is a little help with our houses. Walter looked at the gleaming white houses they were made of bricks. Little fairies everywhere were polishing with brushes. The bricks are teeth, cried Walter. I always wondered what you did with them. Well, here we are, said the tooth fairy. This is where Queen Dentina lives, the ivory palace. They went through the gates. Inside the palace was a long hallway. At last they came to the throne room and there was Queen Dentina. What is this? She shrieked, a boy? This is Walter, said Walter's tooth fairy. He lost his tooth. We don't want him, said Queen Dentina, just the tooth. 
She means I can't find my tooth that fell out, explained Walter. It disappeared, but I really did lose one. You can see the hole. Walter opened wide and pointed to show the queen. Idiot, yelled Queen Dentina. I suppose you put the tooth in your pocket. Well, yes, said Walter. And your pocket had a hole in it? Well, yes, said Walter. And now you want a quarter anyway. Idiot! Do you think you can get something for nothing? Out of my sight! All right, he said. But it just wa I just wanted to say that it wasn't the Tooth Fairy's fault. And he turned to go. Wait! shouted Queen Dentina. What beautiful purple pajamas! <gasps> those are just what I need for the decay prevention ball. I'll give you 25 cents for those purple pajamas. We'll forget the tooth. I'm not stupid, said Walter. These pajamas probably cost $10. Besides, I would catch cold. Stop, she cried. I want those pajamas. Seize him. Walter ran. The little tooth fairy ran too. The tooth soldiers chased after them. In the distance, Walter could hear the Queen Dentina screaming, Get those purple pajamas! Then the Tooth Fairy caught Walter's hand and they flew up. They went back through the tunnel, back out the hole in the tree, and back in the open window. Walter was big again. He was in his own room and he was still wearing his pajamas. The Tooth Fairy looked glum. A tear rolled down her cheek. Bah! She cried. Hey, said Walter, what's the matter? We made it. You saved me. But what about me? Cried the Tooth Fairy. Now I can't go home. I have an idea. You can move in with us, said Walter. My parents are pretty nice. Bah! Cried the Tooth Fairy. All right, all right, said Walter. Let me think. I know, he said. Where are my scissors? He opened his desk. Here they are. I'm much bigger now, Walter said. Right? The Tooth Fairy agreed. And my pajamas are bigger too, right? The Tooth Fairy nodded. Then watch this. And he snipped the inside of his pocket right off. He handed it to the Tooth Fairy. It was as big as she was. Do you think that will make Queen Dentina happy? The Tooth Fairy grinned. It's perfect, Walter. Thank you so much. Walter climbed back into bed. Will you wake me when you come for my next tooth? He asked sleepily. Sure, said the Tooth Fairy. Only try not to lose it before I get there. It's a deal. Then Walter fell fast asleep. He didn't see the Tooth Fairy tap her wand under his pillow. But the next morning he found a quarter there. As for the little Tooth Fairy, she had a wonderful time at the Decay Prevention Ball and Queen Dentina gave her all A's on her next report card. The end.
Yeah. Yep. You can buy the butterfly at the store for Nana because she loves butterflies. Yeah, I would buy one new when we... Buy one new. That would be so nice. Nana would love we that. We even buy one Nana and you and Johnny and James. Okay, that would be and very Dad nice. Dad and me. Yeah. Did, what did no, they do to your teeth, Joe? No, me. I do do hop. You did a good job. What did they do? No, me. No, they did not numb you because you didn't get any teeth work done. But did they brush your teeth? Me, yeah. Yeah, and they fl flossed them. Did it feel good? Wait, what? This is so hot. Oh, yeah, brush his teeth, too. I didn't know first brush. I didn't know what's in the hot time one. Okay. He's big one. Oh, that's a really huge toothbrush. Brush a brush a brush. Is my dad big toothbrush? Trying to help Daddy. Is it help it big? Are you going to brush Daddy's teeth? <laughs> Whose teeth are you going to brush? You can brush Johnny's? Just pretend. Don't really put it in your mouth. Brush, brush, brush. Johnny, did they brush your teeth? Not it wasn't too bad, right? Yeah. Right? Did you do good? Brush mommy's teeth. Brush, brush, brush. Thank you. Brush, brush, brush. Good job. Did they, was it, was it scary, Joey? No. Nope. Nope. It was just fine, right? They did a good job. They brushed your teeth. Look, Mom, I had to do it all Let me see your pretty smile. Nice job. Well, who's behind this one day? Oh, thank you. Uh -huh, I pet on him. Hey, I know you were a little bit worried, rush, rush. and you did a great, great job. They let you sit down, put some sunglasses on, right? You looked like a cool dude. And they brushed your Mama, teeth. Look, it went on your head. A little me. butterfly on my leg. So and they fly on you, and now oh, on it's your on my arm. arm. Joey. What? I'm very proud of you for doing such a great job. Thank you. Look, Mama, on my arm. Johnny, are you going to brush the alligator's teeth? Show me. Mom, I'm not. You're stuck. Is it stuck? Would you, oh, there you go. Brush his teeth. Get them nice and clean. Brush, brush, brush your teeth. Get them nice and clean. Because we're brushing our teeth on the bottom. Because we wouldn't want to say that we forgot them. And while we're brushing our teeth and having so much fun, we never let the water run. And we're brushing our teeth on the top. It's so much fun, we just can't stop. And while we're brushing our teeth, we're having so much fun, we never let the water run. And we're brushing our teeth in the back. Getting rid of all of that play. Yes. I need you to put it away, okay?
I know why I brush my teeth. Mom! yelled Sam. Come here, quick! What is it, Sam? asked Mom. Aren't you ready for your bath yet? Look, said Sam proudly. I have a wiggly tooth. Hmm, said Mom, peering into his mouth. So you do. That means it's going to fall out, doesn't it? said Sam. A big tooth is starting to push the baby tooth out of the way. That's what the dentist said. That's right, Mom said, passing Sam his toothbrush and toothpaste. But not for a few days yet, so let's give those teeth a really good brushing. Mom frowned. Sam, that's too much toothpaste. Remember what the dentist said. I know, I know, said Sam. Only use a pea-sized drop of toothpaste, cause it has floor stuff in it, and I only need a little of the floor stuff. You mean fluoride, said Mom. Yeah, said Sam. What's the floor stuff for anyway? It helps to keep your teeth strong, explained Mom. Just a dot, not a lot. I have strong teeth, Sam said, and I don't have any holes in them. Jody in my class has holes. Her mom said it's because she eats too much candy. I suppose it is, said mom. Poor Jody, it's not just candy that gives you holes though. Sugary drinks and snacks between meals aren't good for your teeth either, especially if you don't clean them often enough. That's why you should brush your teeth correctly at least twice a day. I know what the right way is, Sam said. The dentist showed me. Open wide and scrub back and forth along the tops and insides. Then put your teeth together and go round and around the outsides. Look, I'll show you. Perfect, said Mom. Don't forget to rinse your mouth out with clean water when you're done. Sam peered at his teeth in the mirror. Why does brushing stop the holes? Because the little bits of food stick in your teeth when you eat, said Mom. If you don't brush them away, germs called bacteria get to work on them and form gooey stuff that builds up on your teeth. The gooey stuff is called plaque, explained Mom, and the bacteria in the plaque feed on the sugar and the food bits. This makes them a very strong liquid called acid, which eats into the outside of your teeth and makes holes in them. Oh, said Sam as he climbed into the bathtub. Do teeth have an outside and an inside? Yes, they do, said Mom. The shiny white stuff on the outside is called enamel, and it's really hard like armor. In fact, enamel is the hardest thing in your whole body. What's more, she added, un underneath the ena enamel, there's bony stuff called dentin, and inside that, there's pulp. Pulp is soft and squishy. And it has a lot of tiny blood vessels and things called nerves in it. I know about nerves, Sam said. When I touch something, they tell me if it's hot or cold. That's one of the things they do, said Mom. Nerves tell you when something's hurting you too. Like that time you had a hole in one like that time I had a hole in one of my teeth and I had a toothache. Sam made a face. Yuck! I hope I never have a toothache. Mom smiled. I hope you don't either. But that's why it's so important to take care of your teeth. You'll only grow one set of big teeth and they'll, they'll have to last you the rest of your life. Will all my baby teeth fall out now? Asked Sam. They will, said Mom, but not all at once. You have 20 baby teeth all together and they'll come out one at a time over the next few years. I know why they're called baby teeth, Sam said. It's because they started growing when I was a baby. But I'm not a baby anymore, am I? That's why my big teeth are coming in. That's right, said Mom. You'll get 32 big teeth, and you'll have most of them by the time you're 13. But you won't get the very last ones, your wisdom teeth, until you're a little older. Sam nodded. When I'm all grown up, you mean. Why are they called wisdom teeth? Sam asked. Because you'll be older and wiser by the time you get them, said Mom. Your other teeth will have names too, you know. They do? 
asked Sam. Like what? Well, the teeth at the front are your incisors, said Mom. They work like scissors to cut your food up. And the pointy ones next to them are the canines, or dog teeth. They're good for tearing and biting. Then the flat ones in the back are your molars. You use those for chewing and grinding up your food. Sam put on his pajamas. Are the dog's teeth called that because dogs have them too? I think that must be why, Mom said. Canine is just another way of saying dog. Oh, said Sam. Well, I know an animal that has hundreds of teeth. Mom laughed. You do? What is it? A shark, yelled Sam. It certainly does, said Mom. Or at least some kinds of sharks do. And guess what, Mom went on. They're always losing their teeth when they chomp on their food, but they keep on growing new ones all through their lives. Well, I'm not going to lose any of my big teeth when I get them, Sam said firmly. Good, said Mom. Then you'll grow up to have beautiful, big, strong ones. Sam grinned. All the better to eat you with. Shark attack! Om nom 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 nom. Can you go over to the slide, Joey? Johnny, wait. Be careful, please. There's other kiddos. Go ahead. Do you need a hand? No. Are you going to climb up the slide, Joey? Or climb up and go down the slide? Yeah. Here you go. Nice job. You can do it. Are you going to get on the slide and show me? I did it! You did it! Baby, chop! You're amazing! I chop! You're at the very top, come on! Can you show me the slide, Johnny? Show me the slide! Ready? Three, two, one, woo! Nice job! Whoa, try again. You can do it. Try. Show me. There it is. Nice. Bless you. Keep going, Johnny. Hop. Nice job. There it is. Awesome. Oh, Joey, you did it. Nice job. High five. Buzz Lightyear. You're leaving me hanging. I need a high five. Yeah. Yes. You did it. Woo, woo. Go, Johnny. Go, Johnny. Show me your awesome moves. Show me your awesome moves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Are you having fun? Hi. Love you. What is that? It's just a balance bar. Daddy! You're doing good. You yeah, good that? job. Nice. Be careful, okay? Dad, there's a truck from Target here.